Hi guys, this is Katja with Creators Image Studio. I am sharing a new mini album with you again today. And this collection is the Spring Market Collection by Carta Bella. And this is a great collection, guys. It is full of spring colors and flowers and bloom and happy. And well, there's a 12 by 12 inch and the six by six inch pads. And then there are lots of ephemera like the die cuts and the chipboard pieces and the enamel dots and lots and lots of niceness, all of which you will see in this album. And uh, the materials, uh, so all the things that I just uh, mentioned, the entire Spring Market collection materials uh, were uh, sponsored uh, by scrapworld.eu or in Dutch scrapworld.nl. Well, here we go. So this is a very nice little album. I think it's about, well, let's just measure it. It's about 19 centimeters uh, long. It is about four centimeters wide and it is about 13 centimeters high. So this makes it an ideal album for your four by six inch pictures, guys, or for the European people, uh, 10 by 15 centimeters, which I think is the regular standard size for pictures. So this is the back. You can see the spring theme here. There's a sticker on the front. I didn't do much to the front because I really love this pattern here. So there are some Prima blings here uh, because I always love my blings. And these are some enamel dots. And then I bought myself a nice little ribbon here to go with that collection and close the album. Oh, and here on the spine, before I open up the album, is a chipboard piece from the collection. It says live life in full bloom. And this is a sticker uh, piece. So I had to back that up with some uh, design paper. And I also attached my handmade charm. And uh, not just because I always do that, but also because this way it will uh, give it some weight and help it to stay down. There is a tutorial for this album, guys, in my Etsy shop. So uh, check that out if you want to try this yourself. So there we go. Now, as for the inside front cover, I did some stickering. I am not always a fan of stickers, but these ones I like. Now here I did a, a napkin fold card, as it were, but I attached it. So it's not a card to send out, but it is the same technique. I did a video on uh, this little guy and some others a couple of videos ago, so check that out. There's a link below in the description. And I also have a free video tutorial on how to create these little ones. Well, not the little ones, the napkin fold guards, I mean. And the only thing that's different is that I used a six by six inch double-sided sheet instead of the eight by eight inch that uh, I usually would use for this card. But uh, look how great that is. You can glue a picture here or even a journaling spot, just stick it down and then uh, you have a great, great surprise here. It's a very fun look, I think, to open the album with. Well, it's difficult to do this with one hand. I'm not trying anyway, so there you go. So this is a magnetized closure. Now here is the first page. Now there are four page assemblies and I'm calling this album, this type of design, a uh, double take. And the reason is that the uh, page designs repeat. So there's number one and number two. These are two designs and then the same two designs repeat uh, in pages three and four. So hence double take. So the first page assembly consists of a lot of photo flaps. So here you go with your four by six inch pictures. And what I did here on the inside of all of these flaps is you could glue your picture right in between these two strips. And on the other side, I matted it with design paper and you can glue your picture on top. The reason I didn't do that on both sides is to keep the bulk down because your photos will add bulk as well. And then here is a pocket. I added a cut apart from the collection. You can use it as a journaling spot and do a picture on the back if you want. And of course you can stick one or two pictures in this pocket as well. So this gives you room for a lot of pictures. So these, these alone are eight 
and then here 9 and 10 and if you do one here it's 11 and this is just the front of page one so 11 pictures already now the 11th one here would have to be a smaller one because I left this open so you can slide a little picture here while it's sized and that would be a fun opening. Again with the enamel dots here. And this is simple, uh, simply a die, a nested die set that I used. And these are all pocket pages. So I used double-sided design paper simply from the collection to cut my photo mats and added uh, enamel dots on both sides here of that photo mat to have sort of a grip. And again, this way it will keep the bulk down because you could use cardstock and then mat it and then add your pictures. But I thought this was uh, as uh, would work as well and keep the bulk down a bit. Okay, so let's go to the other side of this page assembly. So here are some flaps starting off here. This is a small pocket and I added a little tag from the collection. Love grows here, it says. You can use it as a journaling spot. It's actually a sticker so I backed that up with a cardstock. And here is a some fussy cutting that I did from the design paper. There's a magnetized closure holding this flap down. So let's open it up so you can add a picture here, add a picture here and here. Opening it up, a pocket here so you can add more pictures, so maybe two, and add a picture here. So again, lots of pictures on this side. So let's say two, three, four, five. And we had 11 on the other side. So that is 16 pictures, maybe even 17 if you add a little one here. So 17 pictures plus two here is 19 pictures on this first page assembly alone. And uh, well, if we count the uh, inside front cover, then we would have 20. So 20 pictures and uh, there we go. So let's go to page assembly number two. Now here is a little layout. So you could glue a picture here. And I just added some flowers, some stickers and some cut aparts from the collection. Of course, several enamel dots. A magnetized closure for this flap. A tuck spot here, so I added a cut apart ATC card from the collection. No, this is actually a die cut, it's from the die cut pack, this one. Some flaps here, and here is a pocket, so you can add pictures here. And here I just added some stuff, so this is one of the die cut tags from the collection. I just tucked that in here. And here are two cut aparts that I kept together and folded them to create a booklet. So it says be kind and you can glue a picture here or do some journaling or some stamping. Same goes for the inside. So let's say you do uh, two pictures here plus one here is a three, four if you add one here and then let's say one more here is five, six, seven. And this one is eight. Hope you're counting with me guys because I'm just counting this for the first time. And then the back side of this second page assembly, there's a swing tab here. I use a chipboard piece from the collection. This is a sticker from the collection that I added to this flap. And here is a um, sort of an ATC card, four by six inch type that I cut to size for this flap. And then there you go. And this one you can pull out. So here you have a photo booklet. Plant smiles, grow laughter, harvest love. So this is a very fun collection. Now I wouldn't add some pictures here personally. So let's say that you would only use the inside. So it's two pictures here. Three, four. And we already had eight on the other side. So that is 12. So it's 20 and 12 is 32 pictures and we are still going. And here, so here is the page three or page assembly three. And as I said, the design is the same as the design for page one. So let's check it out. So here are the photo flaps again with the uh, bulk saving technique of these strips of design paper. 
So you can use both sides for pictures and then there is a pocket. I tucked an ATC card and I added one of the die cuts. Plant smiles, grow laughter, harvest love. So one of the themes of this album, well of this paper actually. And I was thinking you could die cut a circle picture here and uh, glue it here. Here again one of the photo mats that I cut from the design paper and just added some enamel dots too to keep the bulk down. And let's go to the other side. So again with the magnetized flap here that will keep these two flaps closed. Some enamel dots, a sticker from the collection, two cute little tags or actually die cuts from the collection. This one here it says simply flowers and this one here says happiness blooms from within. And again a magnetized ribbon pool here. So again pictures, pictures, pictures. Oh we forgot to count. So let's say you would add two pictures here and then it's eight for the flap. So ten pictures for this plus the two here is twelve pictures. And then this side you could still add one here, so that is 13, 14, well, if you want 15, but let's not count that. So 15 it would be then 16, and then 17, 18, because this is a pocket, and then 19, 20, because you can stick several pictures here. This is a tuck spot, and then this will keep it to the page. So all in all, that is 20 pictures for this entire page assembly. We already had 32, so we are at 52 guys with this third page assembly. So let's close it up again. So again, this magnet holds these two closed. So 52 pictures and still counting. Now again, a flap. So this is again the same page assembly uh, design wise as the second one. So this is the fourth one. And I die cut some decorative elements on both sides here and my idea is that you would put a picture on top of it. So you would have, uh, let's say, uh, half of this showing a uh, bit of a doily effect. So this is number one for a picture. Two, three, four, five, six, seven or even eight, but let's say seven on this side, opening this up, and again this is a removable, so there's two pictures here, and then you could do an extra one here, but let's say you would only use the inside, so these are then two. Now here I could have left room for a large picture, but I decided uh, to create a little layout because that is fun as well. So I die cut a little lace pocket here and uh, just added some stuff. So these are all uh, die cuts uh, from this spring market collection. So I just added those for fun. You could of course add a picture in here as well. So I would like to count that as one. So then we would have seven plus two plus three uh, plus one. Then that is 10 pictures for this last page assembly. So 52 plus 10, that would make 62 pictures. And then we still have the inside back cover to go through. Now the inside back cover, we're starting off with a tuck spot here. So I used a sticker that I backed up. And I just added an ATC card that I cut from one of the sheets of design paper. And then I use a chipboard piece here as a swing tab to open it up. And there you go. So you have two more photo spots or you could even do a large panoramic picture like this. You would have to cut it here. So let's say two more pictures. So we had 62 plus two would make 64 pictures. So we counted them together, guys. So 64 pictures in a relatively small album of only four centimeters spine width, which I think is quite a feat. I am very happy with it. 
and uh, well I hope you like this design and uh, as I said it's a double take is the, is the title of this album for these two page designs repeat through the album so that means something for the length of the tutorial it's not as long as uh, when they were four unique uh, dis uh, assemblies which also uh, is, means that the price is a bit lower than the longer tutorials because I have different prices uh, for the amounts of work that I need to put into them to create them for you. So the collection, as mentioned, was Spring Market by Carta Bella. And uh, check out my blog for some more details and more pictures. Check out my Etsy shop for the tutorial for this little guy. And of course, a like, press the like to uh, like this video and subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you for watching and uh, see you next week. Bye bye.